Today we're going to be talking about surge suppressors. Surge suppressors are used in paint circulation systems to remove pressure pulsations from the supply pump. During a pump changeover, a very brief but undesirable pressure pulsation occurs. Adding a surge suppressor will eliminate the pressure pulsation. Let's start by reviewing the Graco traditional passive surge suppressor. Okay, we're going to start by charging the air side of the suppressor when the fluid side is empty. And we're going to charge the air side through the port until the air side is two-thirds of what the fluid pressure is going to be. When we turn the fluid pressure on and adjust it up to the operating pressure, the two pressures will equalize. Then the suppressor is going to be working at its peak performance. If two-thirds of the charge pressure is greater than the available air supply pressure, then a nitrogen supply is required to build to the right pressure. If the charge is not two-thirds of the operating pressure, the suppressor does not perform properly. If the charge is lost over time or if fluid pressure changes due to a system requirement change, for example, a non-production mode or sleep mode such as when using the intelligent paint kitchen, then the suppressor will not perform properly unless a manual change is made to the air side. Also notice there appears to be these great areas at the inlet and the outlet. These were designed to prevent the bladders from pushing into these areas when the suppressor is not charged properly. This design is not ideal for fast and efficient flushing. Now let's review the active surge suppressor. With this suppressor, we connect an air supply line directly to the suppressor. In the active surge suppressor, we use a piston and a diaphragm. This gives us a three to one ratio. We're also using two poppet valves. The inlet poppet valve and the exhaust poppet valve. Okay. When fluid pressure increases in the fluid section of the, of the diaphragm area, it's going to push the piston up. When that piston engages with this poppet valve, it's going to open the air passage and it's going to fill this chamber with air pressure. Because of the 3 to 1 ratio, when this air pressure is one third of the pressure of the fluid pressure, it's going to push that piston down. Now this piston is going to float between the two poppet valves, absorbing those pressure pulsations from the fluid side. If fluid pressure drops due to a system requirements change, such as sleep mode or non-production mode in the case when using the intelligent paint kitchen, then the piston is going to drop. When the piston drops, it's going to engage the exhaust poppet. When the exhaust poppet opens, the air pressure in the air chamber is going to evacuate out and it's going to continue to do that until, again, the piston rises up and it's now one-third the pressure of the fluid, again, absorbing any of the pulsations coming through on the fluid side. Due to the design of the diaphragm, a graded inlet and outlet are no longer required, making the active surge suppressor very efficient for flushing. If the diaphragm ruptures, fluid will fill in behind the diaphragm. Then the fluid will travel up and out this clear tube. That's going to provide a visual indicator that the diaphragm is ruptured. The fluid is going to continue on to the vent. The fluid will cause the ball checks to float up and seat, capturing the fluid and containing it within the surge suppressor. At this point, the surge suppressor is no longer functioning properly and the diaphragm needs to be replaced. The design of the active surge tank 
allows for installation of the fluid section to be in either the down or the up position. The smaller footprint also allows for mounting directly onto the pump outlet, the wall, or the floor when using the proper mounting hardware. The highlight of the active surge suppressor is the fact that it automatically adjusts itself for peak performance in changing conditions so the operator does not have to manually make any adjustments. For more information on the active surge suppressor, visit www.graco.com.